Today I want to talk about critical engine factors, by which I mean, what are the reasons that in a multi-engine airplane, if you lose the left engine, you'll have a worse time than if you lose the right engine. To begin with, I want to start by talking about torque. And when I talk about any aircraft, what I'm going to do is begin by drawing two similar airplanes. In this case, we'll draw a red airplane, and we'll draw a green airplane. Now, both of these aircraft have had an engine failure. The red aircraft has lost its left engine, but the right engine continues to run. The green aircraft has lost its right engine, but the left engine continues to run. Now, what's going to happen? Well, in every case, um, the working engine is going to generate asymmetric thrust. So, we have asymmetric thrust trying to turn this airplane to the left, and we have asymmetric thrust trying to turn this airplane to the right. Now, opposing asymmetric thrust is the rudder, and so we'll create a rudder there. So, you step on the rudder to prevent the airplane from turning. So you have asymmetric thrust trying to turn the airplane in one direction, and you have the rudder trying to, turn, trying to stop the airplane from turning. Now, torque will affect both of these airplanes, but it will affect them differently. Before we talk about that, though, let's talk about what is torque. Let's say that you have an engine. We'll draw an engine here. This will be a three-dimensional engine. Okay, and we'll draw a crankshaft. And at the end of the crankshaft, we'll put a propeller. Propeller here, propeller there. Now, the propeller rotates in a conventional engine clockwise. So the propeller is rotating clockwise. According to Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Most people know this. Now, what's the equal and opposite reaction in this case? Well, in this case, if the propeller is rotating clockwise, the crankshaft will experience a counterclockwise force. And so will the engine itself, and anything connected to the engine, which might be out here, will also experience a counterclockwise rotation. Simple physics. How does that apply to our aircraft here? Well, each of these aircraft has a propeller. We'll draw the propeller. Oh, screwed that up. Draw the propeller there. Propeller there. And there. Now, in each case, the propeller rotates in the same direction, this way. And therefore, there will be a opposing, an opposing force attempting to rotate the rest of the airplane this way. We call this torque. Now, what happens? Well, in the case of the left engine failure, the torque tends to turn the airplane in the same direction as asymmetric thrust. That is to say, you need more rudder to oppose both asymmetric thrust as well as torque. In this case, torque works with the rudder to counteract asymmetric thrust. So, in a conventional twin-engine airplane, it's worse to have your left engine fail because torque will... Um, uh, torque will contribute, there you go, torque will contribute to asymmetric thrust. Over here, in a um, conventional twin, if your left engine continues to run, torque will help counteract asymmetric thrust.